in the in front of the stage. If you could give them a round of applause as they're walking in, uh, we'd appreciate that. Now they, not, I don't see them yet, so. Uh, <laughs> but uh, this will give me a second to do some. Um, um, what is this called? Is the housekeeping? That's the word. Yes. Um, I don't do this that often, so I, I, the terminology is uh, um, slipping. <laughs> Um, so first of all, you're welcome to take as many pictures and photos as you want, put them on uh, any social media you'd like, send them to us, we'd love to get all that stuff. Um, uh, Jacob here, Jacob, would you stand up? This is Jacob, our student services uh, representative, and uh, he's going to take, be taking family pictures. What we'd like to, um, okay, I see the students coming in, so I'm going to stop, I'll finish up with the housekeeping here in a second. Jacob is going to be here to take family pictures, group pictures, pictures with senseis, and cake cutting pictures. So he's going to be our, uh, he's going to be taking a video right now, right? Yes, he is. Um, and uh, also, Jacob is going around and he will be asking you for reviews if you would like to review us on Google or Facebook or. Yelp or any of those platforms, we'd be very happy to have you do that for us. Um, food, um, when the food is to begin, we're going to, the way we're going to handle things is uh, the students are going to come up and perform, receive their awards, and they're going to go back on the stage. When all of that is finished, we're going to take a group picture, but as we're starting the group picture, we want to start the food line for seniors and people that need assistance. So, uh, you will be um, uh, asked to go first, and then um, when, uh, and of course, there, there are a lot of you, and I think we have a lot of food back there too, so uh, there shouldn't be a problem, but um, if you would, when you go to get your food, if you would take just as much as you think you're going to eat, and if you want more, come back later and get more. Just let's make sure that we have enough for everyone. Um, there's a water table over there, if you haven't seen that. Um, and if we could make sure that the young children stay inside. We don't want the young children running outside in the courtyard out there. 
Um, okay, now I would like to introduce a few uh, people. So first of all, myself, so I'm Marty Callahan, I'm the chief instructor. And then we have my wife, uh, Connie Vakacher. Other family members, so Logan Flaherty, he's my son. happy about that. Uh, also, a couple of people I haven't <laughs> seen yet, so I'm not sure that they're here. Gary So, who's been with us for about 15 years, and Sebastian Baum. Where is he? They're right over there, Sebastian Baum. <laughs> Karina Zang could not be here tonight. She's one of our junior instructors, but Irene Ramirez is here. Um, now, what's going to happen tonight is I'm going to say a few words, and then we're going to have the performances, and then uh, the seniors will start eating, and when the, then we're going to take a big group picture, so uh, Jacob is going to be handled that. We want all the students to be up on stage here for that, and then once the group picture is finished, then you get to eat, and then once we see that a few of you have finished eating, then we're going to bring over the cake table, set the cake table up over here, and um, get out the samurai sword, and then anyone who would like to cut the cake with a samurai sword, uh, you're welcome to do that, right? So even even grandma and grandpa, if you want to cut the cake with a samurai sword, you're welcome. Um, you're going to cut very small pieces, so everybody can do this. Uh, and then we're going to clean up and say goodnight. Um, all right, so let me say a few things here. So first of all, um, uh, we know becoming a, a Shotokan Karate black belt is not an easy thing. The rewards are enormous, but it is not easy. And, um, it, but these students, they're on their way. If they follow a step-by-step -step process that we lay out for them, they can do it. And we would not have invited any of these students here if we did not believe that they could do it in the first place. So let's give them another round of applause. So tonight is really about them, what they've accomplished, what they have to look forward to, and the help that they're going to need to get there. So one thing we know about children is that children can't really see or predict the future very well. They've never seen it. They don't have life experience. Uh, parents and grandparents, you have life experience, and that's where you can help children the most. But um, it, when it comes to the things that might happen in the future, good times can be handled easily. It's the hard times that are difficult. Hard times such as the Tubbs fire that came racing through Santa Rosa in 2017, wiped out 3,000 homes, sent thousands of people fleeing in the middle of the night. That's hard times. The pandemic, that's hard times. Um, the war that's going on in Ukraine and us being able to watch all of that happening every single night, that, those are hard times. So your children are going to be prepared or must be prepared to handle the hard times that come later on not in life. Sometimes people make the mistake, you can have the mistaken notion that karate is just about defending yourself when somebody tries to punch you or grab you or whatever. But no, that is not the case. This is training of mind, body, and spirit. So this is training in how to prepare yourself to handle those hard times. So how do your children, how do children often react to the difficulties that they face in the training? Well. They can get frustrated, they can get upset, they can start to fight you in one way or another, they can tell you that they hate you, that they hate karate, that they never want to come back. They can do all those things. But my strong suggestion to you is don't listen to that. Don't let them do that. Don't let them quit. And if you need help with that, we have more than 50 years of experience of working, helping kids work through this process. So if your child does not experience some kind of uh, terrible event, almost every student we have ever known that got the black belt wanted to quit at some time. 
but we walked them through that process and they were able to make it. So if that starts to happen to your child, let us know and we'll help you out with it. All right, I think it's time to get started now. So we want all the trial students to come up on stage. So let's give them a round of applause. Sebastian. here tonight. No, he's not. And Eliana? No, they're not here. Uh, Finn? Yellow 
And is Jonathan here? I don't see Jonathan. No, he's not here tonight. Um, and Jaden? Oh, there he is. There he is, Jonathan. Excellent. So Jonathan is here. Thank you all about. Jaden? Is Jaden here? I don't see him. Okay. Uh, Phoenix? 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 Yeah. Phoenix has been a tip step. A tip step on his yellow belt. So he's earned step three. Son! Hey! Stand up! Front row, step back in your stands. Announce boys get chewed on. Boys get chewed on. H! Hey! Son! Hi! Stand up! Back row, step back in your stance. Now announce boys to be chewed on. Boys to be chewed on! H! Hey! Son! Stand up! Front row, step back in your stance. In a powerful voice. Announce, boys, we chewed on. Boys, we chewed on. H. Hey. Thank you, Son. Boys, Yame. That boy. So uh, first up, you're earning their first yellow belt is Miguel, Miguel Barbosa. When you hear the name call, please step up to here. Next is Cohen, Cohen Wright. Next is Jaden. And Stephen. Stephen Lamb. Is Stephen here? No. Okay, and Mike. Mike Phillips, but he's not here tonight. But Ben, Ben Robles. Robledo. A tip stripe on their belt, Aiden. Benjamin. Grayson. Giovanni. And Nathan.
Stephen O'Barr. Is Stephen making tonight? Uh, I don't think so. Um, is he? He's so pleased. He's got that much. He's got Then Uriel. Uriel also won the contest. There he is. And moving on to step five, a tip stripe on the orange belt, Chris. Chris Albor. And Dylan Aranchik. Maya O'Brien. earning their green belt, Luke's. <laughs> Gwendolyn. <laughs> Rhiannon. <laughs> and earning a team swipe on her green belt, Rylan. Next up is Jennifer, earning a tip strike. 
Junior instructor, we have Matthew Hensel. First degree black belt, 
is Zaychi Yin.